Live. That's the story of how I got my pants back on. I love that story that, every time. It's such a great story. I never get. I never can't believe that's the first time you shared that with me. I feel so much close to you right now, Squeeps. Thank you. Mm-hmm. That's how you know you're a true friend. Is. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's, I mean, it like, is. In the end, it's a story about coming together. Uh, yeah. You know what? And All that's that's the meaning of friendship. Mm-hmm. So anyway, guys, welcome back to the Rogue Layers Guild. Yay! Howdy, friends. Yay! Yay. It's been a while. It yeah. has been a month for, for a this group. It's been four weeks. It's been one month since we played D and D. Well, not it, since we it's played. It's been D&D. a little while. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's been so long. I'm a whole year older. What the fuck? Oh my god! It's been an entire year. It's been a whole Look year. Look at those birthday balloons. A year ago today. <laughs> Happy birthday! It's your birthday! It's your birthday! It's not, though, so no immunity for you. It's fine, kill me, see what happens. I already know what'll happen. Is that a challenge, or is that... It's a promise. Promise? You ain't gonna threaten me with this. (laughs) I could be, uh, I could be paid and bought. Um, You know, I... My, there's nothing I won't do for goodie bucks in a fake game. <laughs> Damn it, I think I deleted the Magnamar map by mistake. Oh, oh well, I still god. have it! Okay, good. Never mind. I still have it. Oh my god, Magnamar has been destroyed! Oh. I hate when that happens. How am I supposed to get home? Oh my god! So, Emotional um... damaged. <laughs> I'm going to start this off by uh, fulfilling a promise I made to you guys and letting you know what haunts you guys missed Ooh, in the manor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, hold I'm, on, I'm, hold I'm, on. I'm getting my notes. It's all right. Let's see. Hold on. Yeah, you guys missed a bunch of haunts, but instead you found a very leathery, very gray. Uh, Degoulas. I love oh, him. Degoulas. human companion. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, the one that Dan already knows about is it. Oh, let me pull up the map so that you guys can get a reference for it. Uh, where is it? Why couldn't nobody touch the piano? Yeah, so the piano, you guys, um, roll onto its side. If any of you had pressed in the keys, it would have started a uh, dance of the macabre for uh, Wern. Everybody <laughs> loves Wern. Uh, it, because each of the, uh, well, most of the um, haunts were only targeting one person with the exception of a few. Uh, um, oh. Oh. And- Okay. That one uh, was that. Um, there was on, let's see, the second floor. Uh, over here. Uh, this haunt was for Oslo, but Oslo never walked into the room. He stayed on the outskirts of the room. Uh, let's see what this um, one did. Well, we, yeah. Which room? The one way up in the top right. Can you ping it? I'm on. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, um, this one? No. This no, I, one. I see it. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, the uh, one that I screamed at everybody. Don't go in any doors. Yeah. yeah. This one. Uh, the haunted character must make a DC-14 will save. Failure indicates... Uh, oh, there's a whole thing behind this one. Um, so, when you entered the room, you were supposed to start feeling an itching on your face. Um, uh, uh, you'll start to feel... Um, that your face suddenly erupted into a tangled mess of tumors and boils. Oh. 
Um, so you yeah, needed I mean... to make a will save to um, stop yourself from clawing desperately at your face. Yeah, that's dealing, oh, shit. Dealing uh, some normal damage as well as some charisma damage. Yeah. Ooh. Just don't nobody want to look at your mangled face. <laughs> yeah. I remember that's the one that got Rory. And that mm. did so yes. much damage to him. Uh, let's see. There was also. Yeah, I thought so. Um, you guys kind of rushed through this room. This room right here that uh, the dancing Kirby is in. Uh, dancing Kirby? Yeah, what? You have to look on the stream. Oh, actually, you, no, you could probably see it in the thing. Can you bold it? I don't know. Oh, don't, you know, I can see it. I, can, I it don't know like how the... Legend. I'm if trying to figure out how it, it looks, works. It looks like oh, it. there it is. There it is. I see <laughs> um, so you guys would have had to, I believe, clean off all of the portraits on the wall. Um... Okay, here we go. If all the portraits have their cobwebs cleared away, the temperature in the room drops dramatically. Breath frosts in the air and fingers of rhyme slither across the walls. The figures depicted in the portraits suddenly shift from paintings of living people to those of dead folk. Uh, let's see. When the room explodes... Uh, I got them. Fingers of rhyme. This one too. Uh, so otherwise, remain unchanged. Uh, one of the portraits, uh, frame and all, erupt into a sudden explosion of fungus and tumorous growth. This wave of fungus and disease washes over the entire room in seconds before the room suddenly reverts to normal. When the room explodes into rot and fungal decay, everyone in the room must make a fortitude save to avoid contracting a disease. Once the room reverts to normal, those characters who failed their saves can see tiny splotches of mold and tender bumps on their flesh, but until a disease has a chance to incubate, these symptoms remain invisible to others. Oh, oh dope. Uh, I believe there was a few more. Yes, let's see. Room 29. Uh, room 29. Uh, let's see. This one, was for, this one was for Stasi. 28. 28. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you would have experienced a sudden urge to read the books mm. on the workbench. Be- um, if you touch them, you freeze in place as a flood of information flows through your mind. You experience a series of visions chronicling, chronicling the various stages uh, a dead NPC went through in their quest to become a lich. From researching the works of previous Ooh. liches to gathering the components for the lich transformation potion to building the phylactery, finally culminating in a vision of the person taking the potion and doubling over in agony as their body began to rot away. Don't Ooh. like any of this. Um, uh, once you well. receive the visions, uh, you would have to make a will save or suddenly be filled with terror at the knowledge uh, that this person has already succeeded in transforming himself into a lich and must flee at top speed upstairs to try and find your child and rescue them. Anyone who gets in the character's way or tries to stop them suddenly seems to transform into this person and the uh, hunted character must attack the character to the best of their ability until they can continue up the flight uh, to the designated area. Calm emotions, dispel evil, and protection from evil can end this effect before the character reaches the destination. 
as could any effect that removes a fear effect. Otherwise, the effects persist until you reach the area. Upon seeing no child there, you recover from the effect. Well, that one's damn all of you. Was there one more? It just made me drop a deep one. Uh, yeah. No, that looks like all of them. That's well, not terrible. Mm -hmm. But still, it's horrifying. Yeah, some of those are rough. That, especially the, like, tear at your face one. Ugh. Yeah, that would have been rough for you terrifying. because you're a charisma-based character. Exactly, yeah. That would have been rough. Whew. That would have sucked. I made a weedle. <laughs> weedle, weedle, weedle. You're a weedle. Are you allowed to show that on the internet? My little weedle? Yes, Derek. Uh, <laughs> depends on the website. Actually, that's, that's Word now. Oh, oh Word. Uh, sorry. sorry, sorry, my bad. Yes, yeah, definitely right. a Word move. Dan, are you trying to monetize a Pokemon? I'm going to have to contact <laughs> Nintendo about this. I am not monetizing <laughs> anything. Are you, tempting, are you attempting to make money off of Weedle? Intellectual property of Nintendo, greatest no, company alive. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just expressing my love for said company. Uh, How come company Dan's not allowed alive? to play any Legend of Zelda game that ever comes out from now until the rest of eternity? No! Oh, we got banned by Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo. You have to hit him where it hurts. Take away his Zelda. No, not Nintendo's going to have to put down all his Nintendo dogs. <laughs> <laughs> not my Nintendo dogs. It was I see. <laughs> They're going to destroy your too. Animal Crossing home. Eh. Let's look at the restart in that game. Anyway. need a plumber. Kill all the cockroaches. Actually, no, never mind. No, I put way too much work into that Animal Crossing island. I had to cover the entire thing to get the rocks to spawn in the right place so that they were all in one spot and in like a good design. Oh my god. I can't believe you did that. That's I crazy. did that, yeah. I kept I mean, my I island wild and rustic so it could be like a campground. Yeah, so did I. I did not. <laughs> I mean, I did some basic maintenance. I, I need to go back on there. Oh, yeah, I, I did maintenance. I know. Well, Can we have an Animal Crossing night? I, I don't see why not. Upper level. Okay. I don't even think I have no. it left on my Switch. I think I got rid of it. Oh, no, mine's still there. Well, well even if you got rid of the game, the we'll save should it. still be there. Yeah. Just well, gotta re-download right. the game. I still need to stream Kimmy playing Monster Underworld. You also completely missed the deadline to play both Dun uh, Dragon's Dogma 1 and 2. For your stream. Yeah, I kind of put that project that on panel hold. on hold. Mm. Okay. Then you can help me with my stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't have any stuff. I thought you were going to do stuff. Well, I might do stuff. You can do stuff on my Stuff channel. might be in the works. May or may not have anything to do with what I asked on the server the other day. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. You really never know. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Mm. I saw right. you jumped on Subnautica uh, a little while ago. I that did. Was a blast from the past. I um, I got this program that lets me mod different games, and Subnautica was one of them. And I was like, I'll give it a cool. shot. The mods didn't work, but then I was like, you know what? The game's fun <laughs> anyway. So I just That's replayed awesome. all of Subnautica. <laughs> Jeez. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm -mm. I've been, I've been, I got stuck on Enshrouded. Yeah, I've been playing that on and off too. Honestly, Between that and, playing... and Dragon's Dogma too, it's been that. And we're doing, I... we're doing a bad time, a bad job here. I've only been playing D and D, isn't that right, Kimmy? <laughs> oh, Kimmy that's did. right. You guys are doing the constant, the message D and D. It is what? endless. They're playing D and D Roll over text, just the two of them. Oh, I have heard that. Kimmy, you're, like, muted. Yeah. you're muted. You're still muted. You're muted. And you you're muted through it's all of world that. World building. <laughs> We're world building. That's what it is. Uh huh. 
I mean, technically we are. It's just really <laughs> in depth. Well, Sp focusing on one character world building. Well, we're doing it at a time, but you know, we've basically written two books already, so it's fun. Yeah, yeah we're actually. Just Anyways, writing... I have to go now. We're also just writing books so that you and Kimmy have something to read so that you can finally support us with your voice acting. We're trying Are to they sexy Dan angels to be, here? We're trying to create a, um uh have Dan to, uh become our sugar daddy. Are they sexual in nature and do they involve dinosaurs? Uh yeah, yeah there's Ooh. dinosaurs, of course. Why would I do anything without dinosaurs? Okay. I'm in. <laughs> yeah. I knew you would be. Probably I knew what gets you going. Uh, yeah, obviously. We'll just turn the dragon town into dinosaur town instead. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Dragons are, are above dinosaurs in the hierarchy. <laughs> oh, okay. I wasn't fine. sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, dragon Jesus versus raptor Jesus? I mean, I'd, I'd screw a dragon before I'd screw a dinosaur. I mean, who wouldn't screw a dragon, though? Obviously. Right? The dragon from Shrek? I mean, come on. Have you seen those eyes? Seen those they're in like the they're mm -hmm. in the like the top five most romantic those lashes? creatures. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys. No so thought that I could not really say special. So are we playing fan Pathfinder tonight or you know? Yeah, oh my yeah God. let's do it. Let's We're do finding it. A okay. new path. So last time, uh you guys finally uh found Aldern in his manor. You just had to go through a basement and then a cavern. Really, if you guys just didn't go upstairs, you would have found him pretty fast. <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> sure. Um you finally found him and he had already transformed into a ghast like Skinsaw. creature. And the skin saw man. He tried to beg for forgiveness. Um, but yeah, no. And his um like zombie wife pretty much helped you guys kill him. Um Stasi was very heartbroken and did some very uh dramatic things that I will not discuss this episode. We're done with it. We moved on. And now you guys are out of the house and uh, making your way to Magnamar. Making our way downtown. Walk in fast. For Kimmy's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <sighs> We've Kimmy doesn't. Kimmy's not a character in this game, darling. Stasi, it's the time sorry, travel Stasi's, wedding. Wedding. Yeah, Stasi's wedding. Yeah, Stasi's never getting married. She's to done. Get there She's the totally paint. done. You have just oh, totally, God. you have totally taken all the fun away from the bond. So I hope you're happy. I am. <laughs> I mean, considering <laughs> that the man is dead, there is no wedding. Yeah. You know, real talk for a second, I forgot what happened last session, and then I just remembered and I'm traumatized all over again. Yeah, that's the part I wasn't talking about. We yeah. met Douglas! Yeah. What are you that's talking oh, yes, about? And... Yes, that's I got... a really you rude guys. way to refer to me. And yeah. you <laughs> Why do you keep talking to me? <laughs> I still don't trust you. Well, I think that's... that's... You're dead, darling. Yeah. Way dead. Not my new mm -hmm. character, but Drummond for sure. He's yeah. Oh no, your new character out. is dead as well. We just haven't told you yet. <laughs> uh, anyways, you uh, you walk up and you find somebody laid dead on the side of the road. That was supposed to be a character. But... <laughs> and and, and Douglas goes, Oh, are you guys going to eat that? <laughs> uh, I didn't realize you guys gave me lunch. <laughs> yes, we think about others here, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, there is something weird about Douglas that I definitely don't <laughs> mesh with. There's just something about him. Oh, I did give you guys. I don't know if it's because he's like clammy and cold, or if it's because his skin is like gray, or he it smells kind of like death. death. You didn't think that way about Knox. No, no, but like Knox has like silky oh. smooth, like silvery skin. Oh, this guy's is like. 
I haven't taken a shower in longer than I've been alive. So, uh, I also forgot to mention that you guys had found a letter that was addressed to Aldern while you were in the house. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, Pretty much saying that, you know, if he had trouble remembering something, then he should go back to his townhouse that is in... um, in Magnamar, which also spurred you guys to go to Magnamar, besides Sazi just wanting to get the fuck home. Right, right. Yes, because Stasi does not know about the letter. Oh, that's right. You guys did not show her the letter. No, we very purposely hid that from her. I think only um, Alex and... I know about it. Yeah, Warren yeah. and Oslo are the only two who know about it. That's right. You guys are mm-hmm. the only ones that I have marked off. <laughs> Stank Time says maybe his will was there. Stasi gets the mansion. <laughs> <laughs> She's batting it down. I think I played that video game. <laughs> Let's Fast forward to you guys arriving in the Magnamar. Can we go to Devil's Platter? Mm, I'm pretty I sure that came from Hell's back. Kitchen. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot to pull up my notes. Hold on. Alright, so we have not been here before, right? <laughs> no. Stasi oh, has. Yeah. Stasi is the only one who has actually been here. The other time was just a dream. <laughs> 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 a happy dream that Stasi was so excited to have. Oh, cool. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh. Welcome to Magnamar. Oh, John the Bakari. John the Bakari River. <laughs> it's over Yon the Bakari. Yon the Sus Bakari. That Baka over Yonda. Baka. 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 Okay. Free, So, your guys is um yeah. Uh, two points of interest are Poxlow's townhouse and Stasi's house. Where are you <laughs> <to go first? laughs> oh, I want to check out Stasi's house. Uh, All right. Yes, it might be rather. Where is? Get her safe, comfortable spot. Um, did you ever write it down? Yeah, I I'm. Look, I did. I have where. So low cleft is where Stasi was in the theater and everything, but I don't have where. Her parents are. I think you grew up in because it was upper middle class area. Her father, yeah, doing what he does. Yeah. (gasps) Let's go to Keystone. I'm kind of thirsty. Get a good Keystone light. Yeah. I could go for some water. (laughs) (laughs) I got you, Screeps. I'm gonna pass it through. Okay. It's sugar free. And taste free <laughs> and alcohol. There free. we go. Oh, it it transformed. <laughs> Sorry, wrong spell. It's got bubbles in it. <laughs> it's ah, uh, just like the stagfish. <laughs> Snack time <laughs> says, "Oh yeah, I love drinking piss too." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I should Never probably delete some of pimp. these. We can delete Sazi's dress now. Why? <laughs> well, she's never going to wear it. She's so. still wearing it. <laughs> she's never going to wear that. Wearing it. She just wakes up one morning in it. <laughs> I can delete Alder oh, now. She freaks out. 
Well, maybe you should keep it just in case you want to. Wait, which Alder? The ugly it. one or the the hot one? Uh, both. <laughs> no, keep the hot one. Yeah, just don't. <laughs> when I, run into her. I need I need Shayla's for um for for no. Yeah, time. no, we need to keep Amigo. We need to keep Shalalu. <laughs> Sh and Shayless, we need to keep. Yeah. Who's Shayless again? For no, oh. for uh, yeah. this one. Shayless. We could delete Stasi's hair. She, she is shameless. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. We keep this yes. all man. I do remember? Same reason as the uh, the others. Obviously. I mean, I'm not surprised, Alex, that you don't remember Shayless. You probably haven't looked at her face yet. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> I remember now. Dear Lord. <laughs> I'm valid. sorry, I, I couldn't help it. Uh, it was valid. Um, I doubt Stasi looked at her face much Which either, Alex? so it's fine. Doesn't make a difference. Does not matter. <laughs> oh I don't God. even need to say. Uh, I don't even need to say Alex. I could say Alex, anyone he is, yeah. and it doesn't make a difference. Punched you in the Alex face. And, <laughs> we just we just hired a new person at work uh, for the deli. His name is Alex. We now have three Alexes in the deli alone. Ugh. Ugh. No, it's, that's too much, wait, Alex. Wait, wait till I show up one day, then it's gonna get out of hand. It's gonna be <laughs> wild. <laughs> ah! Beat you to a cast. Ha! <laughs> 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 Oh, there's so much love. Ah, oh, you'll cast a soda. Mm. Sit Jinx first. Suck it. <laughs> All right, Damn. so you guys are heading to Stasi's house first. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, I want to yeah, see sure. where, where Stasi comes from. She strikes me as kind of the rich, snooty type, so, you know. Gonna have I'm some sorry, nice what stuff. did I do? To What's be that? the rich snooty type. What? Why am I the rich snooty type? I didn't say that. Mm. Did I say that loud? <laughs> yes, you did. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm sorry if I grew up, you know, in a wonderful home with, you know, two loving parents. Give me everything I ever needed and wanted. Oh, wow. Um, I mean, you kind of... I'm you sorry, should be. Oslo. I'm and sorry. And a butler. <laughs> and a butler. <laughs> You know, you have oh, a moral obligation as somebody with wealthier family lineage to give to those less fortunate than you. <laughs> and I would do anything for Oslo, but until you do something worthwhile, when? I woke you up that one time. <laughs> yes, and you know, you made your girlfriend very happy by doing that, apparently. So. Well... Yeah, I don't like yeah, that. Yeah, how's she doing with the way? Have you talked to her recently? Well, mm. not since we left. Oh, no. Yes, exactly. Well, how am I? Let me just call her on my cell phone that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> you know, maybe. You're rocky talkie. You know, send a raven. Fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. stoned. <laughs> oh, I sent a raven once. Never more. <laughs> Never more. <laughs> If you really um, loved her, you would have learned the spell to send messages over long distances. I don't know See? magic. Thank you, Doug Gulas. You know, you you who you're quite who good even invited this guy? <laughs> Isn't he literally just walking with us? You can go now. <laughs> also invited him actually. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure Doug Gulas is invested in this as much as the rest of us. So we, we met him one day ago. It's been many days of walking, I think. It's, it's, been, it's been like, like a month. Well, it's been, been like a, a few, day. Few hour. I thought it was only a couple of hours. I though. don't know, man. I'm making up time. It was a day. No, she's because it was night time, so we were gonna have to spend the night somewhere. So That's we right. did get a long rest out of this. No, we've we really hit up, we to hit know up each a other. Super eight. <laughs> Motel six. <laughs> Over the four years that we've been walking, I have a problem. Really <laughs> I mean, you have what many, but problem, which one would you like to narrow it down to? Not only do I not have my character sheet, I don't have the program to open my character sheet. Dan, new computer. What? Oh, Proud of you, you got a new computer. So, anyways, I attack. Uh, I attack it's role playing, so it's fine. He doesn't have an AC <laughs> currently, so he's dead. <laughs> 
Yeah. I eat him. Do you still have your old computer? It's somewhere. Oh, God. It's in the living room. This is why I love the Google Docs. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just, I love just, just keep going. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. Everything is ro- I have everything on. Oh, and how do you have an AC of three thousand? <laughs> it's <laughs> over nine thousand. <laughs> Did you at least get one that came with like Microsoft Word? No, I didn't get three sixty five with this because I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, it's like three hundred bucks or something. Yeah, yeah not when not when Open Office is free. I use yeah. my sister's account for free. Yeah. Well, you point. know, not all of us lived in a nice family with two parents that loved them and a butler. <laughs> I didn't have a butler. <laughs> I just had, like, a second mom because my sister grew oh. up way too fast. <laughs> That's the nanny. Yeah. <laughs> nanny McPhee? And she was also five years older than me, so, like... <laughs> Ah uh, yes, I was six years, seven years older than my uh sister, my baby sister. Ooh. So yeah. My sister was, was changing my bit. my sister was changing my diapers at five years old, so oh, well, our babysitter know. didn't know how to, but my sister did. What? How did Yeah. What she had fuck? my sister taught our babysitter at the time how to change oh my gosh. diapers. That's odd. Oh that's fucked. Yeah, yeah, I mean, she's a babysitter, not a baby diaper changer. The only thing she knew how to do was sit on the oh. sit on babies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, snack oh, time an interesting has it for me. Yeah, it's plus, like it's 20. plus 20. That's right. Yeah. That sounds mm-hmm. right. I mean, honestly, yeah. we don't really need you to have a character sheet because you can't even roll a double digit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nat 20 right game. here. I rolled Three. in that one. <laughs> <laughs> the most predictable thing, the most predictable outcome of all. Yeah. Things. Oh, I hate and my life. And every play. role. Why do I ever try to be cool? I don't know, really. Because <laughs> one of these times, it's bound to work. It's been thirty-four years and it hasn't. <laughs> all right. Well, you know, I can't. I, you know, I can't speak to being thirty-four. <laughs> Not yet. You'll get there one day when you grow up. I think the problem mm-hmm. today is I can't concentrate because Kimmy didn't read me a story. Mm-hmm. <gasps> I'm so about, sorry. I need to know about the pigeons in the drive. <laughs> <laughs> I will read you the story when we're done. Can Stasi tell us the story of the pigeons on the clothesline? It's probably the closest thing we have to a, <laughs> to a dryer in this world. So, yes, all right. So if you look around town, just ask me if there's anything you want to know, and I can tell you where everything is. It's fine. I mean, I mean the theater district where... is down here. You know, Ooh. this is where all the fun stuff happens. There's some nice it doesn't places like for music. and No, it's definitely where the fun um, stuff happens. Trust where's me. where's where the, the magic happens. The nicest, well, I say nicest. Where's the most Warren Tavern? It's probably yes. in the dockway. Yeah, so you're going to be on the dockway. That's where all the fun happens. Ooh, it's oh. dirty there. Yeah, it is. Oh, uh, let's put it this way. Dockway, mm. it probably has more crime than even um, Warren is used to. <laughs> but I am and a city, crime. not a small town, Warren. All right, all right. What about a step up from Dockway? The low cleft is the hipster area. Uh, I want to punch them all, but I'll make it work. <laughs> And how how many hips are we talking? Like two hips per person or more? Uh, I mean, sometimes it just what? varies based on you know where you're at. Mm. Wait, can we go back to that last? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's next. This woman named Shakira who works at a tavern, and her hips don't lie. Oh, Shakira, wow. Shakira. Oh, baby, when you try. <laughs> Can't say Shakira like that, okay? Mm. <laughs> it, it triggers something primal in me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Stasi, can I uh, ask a question? Yes, darling. Ask away. If you, if you had uh, such a prominent 
theater district here in your own home. How come you went all the way out to Sandpoint uh-huh. to uh, try our mediocre uh, theater hall compared to this? Right. So remember when we first met and we were off walking? Uh, I forget where we were going, but it was you and me and we were walking and talking and I was telling you about this horrid woman named Alessandra. Yes. Yes. She's like a rival of yours. Yes. Well, she sleeps her way to the top of the rolls and I did not want to do that. So I was literally, she was screwing me out of every roll. And I mean, before she came around, I was I was doing wonderful and it was amazing. Mm. And then she popped in and just started taking it all away from me. So I wanted to get away and go to Sandpoint. And then that horrid woman found me there. Uh. She beat you there. Yes, she did. Oh, I think I saw her show. It was pretty good. Um, Can I stab him? Can you want him? Can I stab him? (laughs) Yes. This is what she's asking Oslo. She's like, I'm going to stab him. Can I cast Smite? I put Douglas in front of me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you're really good. We made a breakthrough. As soon as I take my hands off you, I kind of like wipe them off on my shirt. <laughs> you wipe them off on wasabi? Yes, absolutely. Oh, oh come here, wasabi Ooh. pets. <laughs> and then wasabi responds with. <laughs> That's the sound of pansies made. You don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, pretty, and this is fantasy, accurate. so you know they can make. Yes, they could in this world. I just know they're cute and clumsy. And I know they yeah. sound like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh shit! That almost came out of my nose. <laughs> um, so can I actually? Um, yes. Uh, can I check on Stasi? See how she's doing health-wise, as far as the whole like. Uh, you know, plan B. Oh, yeah. By the way, when you guys do a long rest, you only recover the amount of hit points uh, equal to your level. So, Ooh. yeah. Pass I feel like I would have been in every like, spell slot. I, I yeah, Pathfinder's I would've... not as generous as D&D, so... I would have thrown all the rest of my spell slots. Yeah. Yeah, I would have uh, used any spells of my own as well to heal everyone up to full before uh, resting. So, I'm at some so we have had a, a, a long rest, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, like, is she in tip-top shape after resting and healing? Oh, she is physically fine. Mentally, she is not. All right. Well, I just wanted to do keep keep score of that then. Oh, well, it's a uh, a crazy circumstance that uh, brought you to my little my little uh, city of Sandpoint. Um, but uh, I can say that I'm glad you made your way there. No, I'm so glad i have you and i'm i'm not leaving you yet i'm still here with you Hmm. and just it's been a lot all slow i'm sorry also we're breaking up (laughs) it does kind of sound like (laughs) (laughs) it's not you it's me darling it's not me it's you (laughs) it's not me it's you darling Just, just tell me what i did wrong Oh, everything. You're uh, full of icks. Everything. <laughs> um, you're poor. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I find you being... have no parents. <laughs> I find being poor kind of an ick. <laughs> yeah. Total red flag. 
broke. He's a broke. Broke boy. is gross. But it's okay gross because Stasi, much like Kimmy, is colorblind and sees all <laughs> flags as green. So yes, all uh, flags uh, are green. And all shapes are friend. Mm-hmm. All shapes are friend. Yes, except for when. Yeah. <laughs> I I heard this. I uh, heard this one phrase. I thought it, it was really cool. It kind of pertains to this. It says, when you're wearing rose-tinted glasses, it's hard to see the red flags. Okay. That's a good one. I like it. Yeah. Bye, Dan. We'll miss you. Bye, when? Is he going to look? I think he's going to get his other laptop so he can get his character sheet. I'm glad he got a new uh, computer. He's glad he got a new computer too. Okay, cool. Whew. All right, let's get you home. I don't know why. I just got a waft of Oreos and we don't have any in the house. Yeah, so sorry, I farted again. <laughs> Phantom Oreo. <laughs> yeah, right. It's because I've put the Oreos on this desk so many times that the desk now smells like Oreos. <laughs> it's hot in here. I sweat <laughs> Oreo. <laughs> By oh, now so we, you, by you now might. we might. <laughs> I know I sweat hot sauce. Is there a reason you all are coming to Magnamar besides me? Uh, no, no, not at um, all. No, no. Well, I think it. I think we want to finish wrapping up the whole uh, Alder and Foxglove, his relation to the seven. Seven Brothers, I think it was called, or the Carpenters, uh, the, the gang that he was affiliated with, and Aisha, who was the mistress of these seven. Zanisha. I mean, kind of. Anisha. Zanisha, with a Z. Z- uh, Alicia. Z- 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 <laughs> and um, also, um, she didn't know about any of this. That was all in the letter. Oh. Oh yeah, here, just read this. Well, I mean we learned we we learned about um Aldern being yeah. associated with the seven, right? We we knew that at least, right? I've uh Um hold on, let me look at some Solid of maybe notes that got left <laughs> I think so. Mystery Night, then. I don't know. Letter two. I thought you did. Oh, no, that's a nice letter from Alder, not a bad letter. Gross. Mystery Note number two. Nope, not in Mystery Note number two. No, I think it's from. What is this one? <laughs> the joke letter. Um. Yeah, no, you guys learned about the brothers from the letter, I believe. Gotcha. I could have sworn we like gotten some other information about the brothers, but I'm, I may be mistaken. They may have been um like mm-hmm. just over the table talk. Hold on, let me look at one other thing. What? Hi. What's up? Is this your first time in Magnamar, when? Uh, yeah, I, um, I never really had a reason to come here, but, uh, oh. I don't know. Oh. I don't hate it. It's pretty nice looking. A lot of marks. Uh, a lot of good looking people, you know? <laughs> uh, thank you. Not you. <laughs> You know, Why are you being mean? Being mean to our new friend? He helped out. 
It's just something about him I don't like. I don't trust him. I'm just way sexier than he is. You're dead to me. I'm <laughs> definitely alive. There's, you know, there's just something about the way he talks about how he's always alive and I don't know. I think he let it slip once that he wanted to eat somebody. Like, there's just these little things. I I can't place my finger on why it bothers me, but just something about it. Feel free to place your finger on me whenever you want. I <laughs> will consider it. Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> oh. Stasi was able to get some information while asking around. The foxgloves have traditionally been associated oh. with the Brothers of the Seven, a secretive hey. gentleman's club based in Magnamar and consisting of merchants or thieves, depending on whom you talk to. Members of the society periodically visited Foxglove Manor at night during the years the manor went unlived in, Perhaps to check up on the building and make minor repairs, or perhaps for more sinister pursuits. There it is. That's where you learned of the Brothers of Seven originally. Right. So, I'm not planning on going anywhere while this is still open. Oh, uh, well, that's my thought exactly. <sighs> I guess that makes sense. I don't know why. We're all still together, I, I believe. Um, to kind of get to the bottom of this. I mean, I, yeah, I'm, I have to as part of, like, community service, basically. So I'm, I'm here <laughs> for the long haul, I guess. Here for the lols. And that, hey, right. Oslo, remember when you mm. couldn't open that one door? <laughs> that was really funny. Uh, sure. Ah, good okay. times. He pats you so on the back. So where can we go so we can wrap this up? Uh, you were I mean, going to first... your parents' house first. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we haven't gotten we to have that to. yet. You don't have I mean, to. No, we device. don't. We have to go to <laughs> uh, Aldern's town home. I believe it was. If we go to my parents' house, they're not going to let me leave. Oh, no. Well... I mean, if I just want to make sure that you're safe, that was not totally important either. Um, if you wanted to forego going to your parents, I mean, we can definitely just continue okay. headlong into this investigation. So, what time of day is it? I mean, it's nine o'clock for me right here. Evening. <laughs> I don't know. About like, let's say, like nine o'clock. Let's say like dinner time. Like seven, eight. Yum, yum, dinner like time. Six. All right. Well, do you guys want to go get dinner at my house? Oh, yeah. Free and food. Then we can go. We can discuss and figure out what we need to do. Sure. Sounds you will good have to me. meet my parents. Oh, don't home. worry. Parents love me. I have a sneaking suspicion I've met them before. <laughs> There's that weird shared dream <laughs> we all seem to have. I know. What mm. dream? Don't worry well, about it. You weren't there. I wasn't there either. I was too busy sticking oh. my tongue in so Sazu's so mouth. Good <laughs> Rude. <laughs> God. <laughs> Yeah, the other character that Ooh. I had that would have known this died like eons yeah. ago at this point. <laughs> Alrighty. So you guys make your way through a very nice district. Um, very lovely houses. And I don't know, that looks like a garden maybe there, maybe like a park there, you know? You guys walk through. Mm. And um, eventually you stop at a very nice house. Stasi's house. Alright, look, just be on your best behavior when... Hey, don't look at me. I'm, I'm fine around rich folk. 
I'm watching your fingers. Place the blockade. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on them. Right, so... Salzy's gonna take a deep breath and uh, walk up to the door and... Uh, mm. She's... She's going to open the door and walk in. There's not enough days of my life for this shit. There is not. Not enough years of my life for this shit. Thank you, Giselle. Alright. Um, as you uh, walk in, you hear um, calling from another room. Who is it? Who's at the door? It's me. Anastasia? Yes, it's me, Anastasia, your daughter. Such dude. <laughs> <laughs> She's had uh, about a few days, okay? Give her a break. Yeah, She's allowed no. a little too. Um, your, um... Parents come uh, walking out of the kitchen and greet you with big hugs and are like, we haven't heard from you in so long, we were getting worried. Well, I know, there was a lot going on and we can discuss it at a later time, but we are in Magnamar currently and I wanted to stop by and see you. Oh, well, I'm glad you did. It's been so long, and I would love to hear about your whole time in Sandpoint that you've been spending so much of your time in. I mean, it's yes. been quite an eventful time. Um, These are my traveling companions, and she's going to pull Oslo up with her and be like, this is Oslo. He's my best friend. No, I absolutely ah. adore him, so be nice to him, please. Yes, it's a pleasure to uh, meet your acquaintance. A pleasure to meet you, Oslo. And she oh, This is my new bear, Wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> she eyes the bear. <laughs> she eyes And then this Wern. is Wern and Douglas. She eyes Wern a little worse. Um, the and second her eyes are fearful by the time she lands on Dagulis. The, the second her eyes head to warrant, he steps forward. Oh, oh Montgomery Jicks, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh no, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, you must forgive my uh. My attire, my repertoire. You see, I am also an actor, much like your lovely daughter, and I am to play the part of a hobo, so I needed to get a little dirty. You understand, I'm a method actor. Oslo, hold me back. I'm going to hurt him. Uh, Can you roll? <laughs> if you give me one minute, I can. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, can I move this so I can see over here? No. Okay, great. Big plus zero to bluff. Here we go! Big two! Uh-huh. Uh. Yes, the pleasure is all yours. Sure, keeping interesting company. The... It's a long story, Mother. Yes, but... well... Uh, I wish I knew you were coming. I would have made sure to prepare enough food, but no worries. I can get more prepared for you all. Just give me a few moments. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, I'd hate to uh, intrude, but uh, your daughter was... Uh rather insistent we, we arrive. Oh, uh, it's not well, a bother. We're happy to see her I safe. Was more, I was more insistent to have her come. Well, thank you so much for returning her home safely. 
Of course. Um, if you require any aid in the kitchen, I'd be more than willing to help. Uh, I pull out a, a book from one of my back pockets, and I, I do have quite a rather impressive selection of recipes. Hey, we're back in business. Yay! An impressive weapon repertoire. Ooh, you don't say. Well, come on into the kitchen. Let's see what you have. See what we can work with. Yes, I believe you'll find my Oops. personal chef to be much to your liking. Wern, uh, come Wern, over here with me, darling. We're going to go find the bar. Wern was ignoring you up until you said bar. <laughs> and then he turns around and he's like, yes, please, this atmosphere is getting rather droll. Oh uh, my gosh, you want to uh, bring your friend uh, Dagulas? Oh yes, manservant. Let us go to the bar. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to kill him. Again, that's Montgomery <laughs> Jix. It's a pleasure to meet, may I know. <laughs> uh... Yes, well, don't touch anything. <laughs> she, she, I wouldn't dream of it. She escorts Oslo into the kitchen. Um, meanwhile, your father comes with you to the bar and he goes... I have a wonderful whiskey that I have in the decanter. If oh. anyone would like to partake. Yeah. Indubitably, yes, my please, good man. Father. He will pour you uh, each a glass. Uh, do you have a do you have a uh, sorry sorry. Do you have any wine? I do, I do. We were actually just going to open this bottle up for dinner. I already have it breathing. Let me pour you a glass. Okay. Uh, when I get a glass poured, I'm going to cast a spell. Ooh, okay. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm going to transmute wine to blood. Okay. No. What? That's a spell? No. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, uh, yep. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's horrifying. I'm here for this. Oh, please. What does Stasi need to see this happen? But I'm gonna be sneaky about it, of course. Yeah. Uh, Yo, okay. me and the Ghoulas are gonna be best friends. Roll, um... I don't know if you have any ranks in sleight of hand. If not, I'll accept stealth. 22 um... to see it. I want to see it too. What do yeah. I need to roll? Perce Perception. Uh, Perception, yeah. Perception? Perfect. I rolled a 29 stealth. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I, I did not beat it. I only rolled a 26. Because I rolled a 14. And here I am rolling my 12. 22 thinking, oh yeah, I got this in the bag. <laughs> All right, and uh, that's with your plus twenty bonus on your character sheet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, because his num his his <laughs> modifier is actually in the negative, so you're gonna have to be quicker than that to spot old slick sneaky the ghoulish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Mm. Uh, so how's everything been, Father? Did he running well? City is running well. Business is. As usual, um, no big projects as of right now, so just working with the same old, same old. Perfect. And how have you been? How have your travels been? Well... They have been, so... And we are here and alive. <laughs> That's the best answer ever. God damn it. 
sorry, sorry. I, I, sorry, there's a heartfelt <laughs> talk between a father and a daughter going on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, my definitely, mistake. That definitely didn't get saved in my notes, so you're fine. <laughs> I took a picture for Instagram. <laughs> Right, so there's there's been a lot going on and um, just been a lot. So, but we're here now working on business and such and, you know, we've made ourselves very valuable in Sandpoint and it's just nice to be home is all I'm saying. That's what I'm getting at. That's nice being home. We're glad to have you home. We know that things have been quite eventful from your letters, and we met your Lord Aldern. Um, she's going to down the drink very quickly. Um... And not respond at all. What did, um... Here you go. <laughs> <clears throat> um, he is going to say, um, that would be quite an advantageous <laughs> Sir, can you put my decanter down, please? <laughs> Oh my, I'm so sorry. My manservant dropped your decanter. When I will stab you. I'm sorry, I rolled a natty one. <laughs> Please don't mind him, he's an idiot. I'll just be over here in this corner. You see him no, pointing to the one with, like, all here. of the china? No, come sit here. Come sit here. <laughs> it's okay. I don't want to be in your way. I'll just make mosey around. I want to get a feel for the feng shui of this room. Please I do not touch anything. I would never dream of it, good sir. My manservant, Douglas, has dropped it. Oh. When I will make you eat out back in the yard. Uh, excuse me, my name is Montgomery Jicks. Why is he doing this exactly? <laughs> God damn. Good question. <laughs> Deal. Sorry, roll um, 20 chat he's... is a whole other chat. <laughs> um, look, so there's there's been a there's been a lot going on and you know it's honestly I don't know where everything is going and how it's going right now and um can we talk about it later? Certainly, I know your mother would love to hear all about it. Um, actually, I'm actually quite glad that we stopped by to see you. Um, so, when I know he came by and spoke to you, um, yes. did he seem all right? Yes, he was a perfect gentleman, and spoke very highly of you. Okay, so he didn't look weird or anything. He looked normal. Uh, as far as I could tell, yes. Okay, I... I mean, you know, I uh, just, just worried about you being my parents and all that's all. Just wanted to make sure everything was okay and mm. having gotten to see you. And this is our first time seeing each other in a while, so. <clears throat> I just wanted to check in and 
make sure you guys were all right. Not that anything would have happened, but just... Just another one. I'm not rolling for a reason, but that's my third natty one. You might want to switch up dice here. Here's a yes. set. Or go Five. back to digital. 19. It's all out there. Okay. Uh -huh, see? Yeah. Now you're done. Can now I you're going to the ones. Yeah, they say law of averages, but Dan's average is seven nat ones to one nat twenty. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's got about fourteen that more tracks. nat ones to go for <laughs> Yes, well, he seemed like a very good man, and being in the uh, his family being in the merchant business, it sounded very promising. Yes. Um, it did sound promising. Um, uh, he wasn't pressuring you into this, was he? No, he wasn't pressuring me or anything. Um, uh, we're still trying to figure it all out, but the wedding is not going to happen. Oh. Well then, uh, well your mother is going to want to hear this whole story, so I know we'll, we'll discuss it over dinner. How about that? Fine. I've been in the kitchen uh, making small talk and sharing all the recipes that I've jotted down through the various cookbooks that I've read uh, during my stay at the orphanage, um, helping prepare small little like tea sandwiches and brewing tea and making like, you know, fine little finger foods um, as like appetizers. And I'll, I'll, I'll bring that out. Uh, on a nice little tray or, or platter that they may have. Mm -hmm. As long as Wern hasn't pocketed it yet. I would never think of such a thing. And again, mm -hmm. my lady, the name is Montgomery. What's your last name, Montgomery? <laughs> Just so I can put it in my notes. Jix. J-I-X. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, got you. I got forgot you. how much I wanted to punch Montgomery Jix in the face until... What is the problem, God? You're just upset that Montgomery <laughs> Jix is more pop. I love that when he turns away, none of his audio gets picked up. Yeah. Because the mic's over here. No, because I yeah. muted him. Oh, you're she a dick. Totally oh. <laughs> that right. was a good joke. <laughs> Jerk. We got well, tired of his monologue. So, anyways, he started monologuing. I was bigger than God, like the Beatles before me. <sighs> All right. So, um, Stasi's going to walk around the bar and pour herself another drink. <laughs> uh, you're gonna have to pour yourself wine because the decanter of whiskey is shattered on the yes, ground. thank you, Montgomery. You're very welcome, my dear. Are, are what? you sure you want the wine that I'm drinking? Well, did you turn the bottle? <laughs> did you turn the bottle or did you turn your glass? But technically, the spell says you transform one bottle of wine into one. Bottle of wine. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I would also it's like just some wine. Just from grabbing that bottle of wine, and I'll open another. I don't even care. <laughs> you can smell it if you want. And be like, mm, it doesn't, doesn't smell like wine. <laughs> yeah. So Stasi grabs the bottle, and she just glue, starts yeah. pouring it in a glass. I wouldn't drink that if I were you. Right, I'm just gonna hand this to you. Father, can we have another bottle of wine, please? I'm just what gonna start chugging. <laughs> now that That's there's other people that might start wine. drinking. Sorry, I think that one went bad. It's oh. soured. Hmm. It could have swapped to me. What about the duelist? Hmm. I'll have to check our wine cellar to make sure that everything is 
I'm, I'm sure everything else is fine. Just bring up a few bottles, work. please. I promise the wine's very good. I just don't like to share. Does yes. anybody else smell pennies? <laughs> copper. Copper. Okay, yes. Does anybody else smell no copper pennies. in here? <laughs> Oh. Um, no, he opens no. another bottle of wine and tries to stop you from pouring it because it has to airy, but I know you don't give a fuck. Father, I don't even care right now. It has been a rough few days, please. All right, all right. I won't stop you. I'm sure it'll taste delicious. I, I've i just had a rough few days. It certainly does taste delicious. Why is it so thick? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just how I like it. Casted a spell called Thickums. <laughs> I that has red, dumbest thickest. That red wine is looking awfully red. <laughs> trans, yes, trans that must that must be a new thing. that must be a new uh you know what's that cabernet on my low. We'll have to remember not to buy that one again. Yes, well he's a fan of it, so we'll just let him stick with that one and we can have the better stuff. Um, yes, so I would take a glass new. as well, Stasi. Thank yes. you, Anastasia. If you yes, she's gonna glass. pour you a glass and she's gonna stare at you like, Do you have a wooden cup? He might break the glass like he did the decanter. <laughs> <laughs> Be quiet now, manservant, before you break something else. She's gonna hand the glass to Wern and be like, you better fucking behave. This is my house. No shenanigans here. I'm doing the best that I can. If you want to see your little girlfriend again, you will behave. Is that a threat? It's a promise. I will be the last woman on top of you and you're not gonna like what happens. <laughs> Whoa. I doubt that very much. <laughs> damn. damn. It's going to be reverse of how you woke me up. So, there we go. You're going to be making out with me? All right. Oh, my God. I'm going to put you down. Whoa. To Pound That's Town? Really damn. No. When did this stream become X? <laughs> yeah. is, this, is this Stasi after dark? Montgomery, I'm yes, Anastasia. You. Yes, yes, darling. Let's. Of course, honey. Of course. <laughs> Always on my best behavior. Thank well, you. Like, best behavior, because you brought. I will behavior. show you. <laughs> <laughs> Manservant, please. No dinner this week if you keep on talking like that. I'm eating dinner right now. I mean, after. Anastasia, you might want to highly reconsider who you spend your time with. I know. I, am, I'm... I apologize for my mess. <laughs> I'm only spending time with them for one reason. And it's the fact that trying to... I don't even know. Um, look, he's here, not, not by our choice. Well, it's good that you're helping hmm. the, those in need, I suppose. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Look at someone else. <laughs> oh god, I want to punch you in the face so bad! <laughs> wow, jeez, I didn't realize you, you hated Montgomery that much. You want to kiss him in the face. 
Yeah. What's wrong, honey? Why don't you like Montgomery? I'm gonna make an actual Montgomery Jix character. No. <laughs> He's gonna be nothing like this and okay, be like, okay. why is somebody stealing my name? Okay, He's okay, gonna, you win. You don't like, have to play <laughs> in TTRPGs anymore. <laughs> Just leave me alone. <laughs> He's going to be a very short-lived character. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, an anvil landed on his head. Does a, oh no. Does a 32 hit your AC? <laughs> does no. a 105 hit your AC? <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> it's fine. This hits <laughs> automatically it's like magic hit. missile anyway. <laughs> You see, I'm so rich, my AC is actually a range. Anything <laughs> under 25 and anything over 32 does not hit me. <laughs> that... Okay. Fine, how about a 30? <laughs> no, my that AC... misses, sorry. <laughs> my AC is zero, but I have 400 damage resistance to every type of damage. <laughs> Because I can pay for it with my money. <laughs> because you I cannot just throw money at these it. dollar bills. Now, excuse me while I use my <laughs> ultimate attack, making it hail. <laughs> oh, that's where the pennies were. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who carries copper with them? That's trash. Learn. <laughs> well, you know what they say. One Stasi's trash is another one's treasure. <laughs> Got some treasure for you, Montgomery. Are you really over there bo posing, me? <laughs> <laughs> right, dude. You should see me when I voice act. I I have to actually do the thing. <laughs> So when I we're have seen you do it. when we're doing like do OSI and stuff, I'm actually like I'm looking at him making going, faces like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Well, I get it. Trust yeah. me, I get it. Yeah. I can't just do the voice. I have <laughs> to actually get flamboyance. Yeah. You gotta get into it. I have to act like hedonism bot. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> cool. <laughs> I apologize for nothing. <laughs> Sorry, we've been binging Futurama for like a month and a half now. Oh, we're you're taking welcome. Some you're welcome. Oh, you're we've welcome. taken we're, some We're on season 11 now, which is suddenly very relevant or like very up to date. It's the so, new season. It's the yeah. new season, the one that came out last summer. It absolutely is. Oh, and we know that as soon as they brought up NFTs. <laughs> oh, gosh. We took a break to watch Trash TV. <laughs> yeah, it was really trash. <laughs> but it was good. Also, if you want trash TV, uh look up Tool Academy. It's really yeah. stupid. Oh god. Like 2009 trash TV. So how's Oslo yeah. doing cooking with my mother? He is doing wonderfully. Oslo is such a doll and she is enjoying discussing the different recipes that she that he has mm. and sharing some of her own while she's mm. making extra sides for everyone. Yeah. And I making... make a I make a point specifically not to show her anything of the rusty dragon. That's that shit stays locked up. <laughs> I don't think she is the type of person to eat at the Rusty Dragon anyway. Even still, I yes. I give Amico my word that I'd never yes. share that it those those recipes. So these are all recipes you learned at the orphanage, or like, like, from, like a cookbook um, at the orphanage. Yeah, so Damn, orphans and their chefs. Damn. Mm. Damn. Uh, yeah, I spent most of my time just reading, writing, and then part of my job at the academy as a scribe is rewriting and duplicate, triple kit of things. God, to, orphans uh, have it so easy. Security. <laughs> so I've written down a, a number of yes, recipes. Yes, Montgomery, you're so correct. <laughs> so right. My goodness. Uh, but yes, everything yeah. is going swimmingly. We will cool. fast forward to 
dinner time, everyone's sitting around the table. And dinner is served. <laughs> and that's the story of how I got my pants back on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That, sir, is so <laughs> droll. <laughs> Father, do you have another bottle of wine, please? I feel like I need one. Oh, make it two, please. Uh, well, don't get too in inebriated, darling. You don't want to make I'm a fool not. of yourself. I wouldn't. Trust me. You should have seen her during her college days. Oh, I can only imagine. Uh, I, I just... Oh my gosh. Can we not go into that, please, Father? I've always so. been a respectable young lady. Except when she had too much at the theater. After parties. Oh my, do tell. We were celebrating. We're celebrating hard. Oh. Father. Don't you know, Anastasia, oh, tell which one. that sobriety is the spice of life? Um, I'm sorry. How much have you had to drink tonight? I only drink at social occasions. Hmm. So a lot. Also, he... I'm going to hurt him. <laughs> he, like, your father... He's just casting message <laughs> to me. Also, I'm going to hurt him. I'm going to hurt him. I'm going to murder him. Um, I don't father... know why we're bothering keeping up this charade of I don't know why you guys are playing anyway. along. She tried to get you to stop plenty of times. You're the one who's just keeping it up. Look, when you're doing a con, you have to, you know, commit to the <laughs> you bed. You have been called by your real name multiple yeah, times throughout multiple. the whole conversation. Multiple, multiple. I don't know why anybody is, why everybody's just playing along and nobody's calling me out at all. It's weird. Mm, my God. It's weird. Um... Your father brings out another bottle of wine. I don't know. Mm. So for, for a second. At well. the dinner table, Dagulus is doing his best to use a fork and knife properly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I dig it. <sighs> oh, oh my, I am so sorry. <laughs> Stalsy so sends a message to Wern, don't you dare pocket that silver. What are you talking about? I would never. <laughs> you took the words right out of my brain, this embodied <laughs> voice. Um, I would never. So your mom says... I pocket the gold. So tell me how things have been. Tell me why. Um, things have, uh, interesting is not the word I would generally use, but they have been surprising. So there's been a lot of changes going on and, you know, stuff happening. And we were out investigating some stuff that was happening in Sandpoint. Um, and I'm not getting married now, so... Um, perhaps it'll be best if we just lay everything out on the table, tell them exactly what we've been through. Um, also, above table, uh, we're, uh, Dan, weren't you holding on to that letter? That, yes, I have the um, letter. Okay, so I'll turn to you and, and say, um, this might be a good time to... Uh, introduced the, the letter we recovered as well. and uh, You informed. recovered a letter? Are you sure? Uh, yes, we did. We felt, uh, um, Wern and I felt that it would be Montgomery. wise not to, not to, um, I see Wern doing that too. <laughs> um, oh, no, that was it. Yeah, that was absolutely in Wern's. In yeah. character. <laughs> yes, we, we came across another letter that seemed to have been from Aldern's benefactor. And uh, we 
concerning the state that you are in. We felt it best to withheld this information until a more appropriate time. I feel like this is it. I um, understand that. I wasn't in the best place yesterday. No. No, you seem no. much better today. What is but, going um, on crying. here? Yes, uh, we've been through quite a uh, troublesome An ordeal. experience. An ordeal, yes. Uh, we felt that uh, reconvening, reconvening in a more appropriate and familiar spot was uh, a good decision. Uh, that's primarily the reason that we've come here, here in, uh, to, to your state. Aldern seem to have been mixed up with a rather shady organization called the Seven Brothers, which uh, seems to be a, um, a rather dubious cult or gang uh, sense here within the Magmar city. It seems that the Seven Brothers were getting more and more involved with a cult-like Worshipping of a practice of some sort that uh, led to some troublesome discoveries. Um, Aldern seemed to have been transformed or swayed or, or manipulated and turned into a fiend-like creature and was committing acts of violence against uh, citizens of Sandpoint and uh, trying to enact some sort of ritual. Uh, and I'll gesture for Wern to hand over the, the note to uh, Stasi. It seems that uh, his activities were in the efforts of a larger ritual uh, to summon some sort of something that I'm not entirely certain of. But, um, well, it, it turned violent and uh, Stasi and, and us, we all fought against Aldern and he, uh, in his altered state, attacked us as well. Uh, we had to eliminate it. That's the most forthright way of putting it. So Aldern has been removed from the equation. Hence the uh, calling off of the marriage. But, uh, where in the hopes of looking for additional clues or information about these seven brothers and what their initial hopes are or their designs. It's uh, still kind of all up in the air. We were just really hoping to recenter ourselves and collect all our thoughts after such a traumatic experience at the uh, box club manor which um, was rather harrowing yeah. we mostly made it out alive one casualty yes um, I didn't want to uh, bring that up but Yes, you are correct. Well, two. Mm. Uh, yes, two. So, yes, that's what's been going on with us. 
And after that, I just knew I needed to come home for a bit to get my bearings back and figure out what I need to do with my life. I, of course, extended my hand to uh, continue residing in uh, Sandpoint. It's not as lavish as it is here in Magnamar, and she certainly doesn't have uh, her family there, but she's definitely made her mark and is well-respected within the uh, the city of Sandpoint. Um, the mayor and the uh, leading authorities there have all relied on her efforts and capabilities to help protect the city. And um, I don't want to say we hold some sway there or anything, but she is certainly welcome uh, at Sand. Um, but with the matters as pressing as they are, why we find ourselves here. Uh, your mother says, I knew I was worried for a good reason when you said you were doing all this adventuring business. I never wanted you to get hurt. Well, I was going to get hurt some way, Mother. You can't protect me all the time. Well, you can't blame me for trying. I know. I am your mother. I wouldn't and worry too smoking. much. She's never alone. She always has us to back her up. Well, and how long are you going to keep that up? You keep what up, my good sir, and it's Montgomery. Um, I need to make friends. They're rich. Right. This is important. Oh, wow. When there's richer people that you can meet, darling. Montgomery. Montgomery. Yes. I I, I turn to her parents and uh, I give them oh, going fine. Look, a tired eyes and I go. I apologize for his behavior. He's been put under our charge. I look point. I like stare daggers at him. Of we're technically babysitting him, essentially. I could see that why is not he, true. Antics. I'm here to help. I could see why he would need a babysitter. He's... I'm sorry. I tried to make a good first impression. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Well. I hate to say you're fine the way you are, Wern, but it was better. You normally is better than whatever that persona was. Man. Regardless. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm not a very good grifter. Yeah, but this is not the, the time for juvenile acts. <laughs> I don't know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, regardless, um, it's pretty much the uh, the the long and short of it, and uh, I think we're just hoping to pull the thread of this sweater a little a little further. Really get down to uh, the nitty gritty of this altercation, Aldern and his. Benefactor. And look, I meant what I said, all right? She's fine. She's actually pretty capable in her own right. And she really does she... have us to back us up. And despite my juvenile acts, <laughs> we really do look out for each other most of the time. Well, yeah. I think that's the sweetest thing you've ever said, Wen. Don't get used to it. No, I won't. Uh, oh, and, um, yeah, go ahead. Well, uh, I was pretty much to say, uh, our other companion 
Douglas is uh, just someone we picked up along the way, mm-hmm. looking to kind of find information about himself here in Magnamar. It's, uh, he's kind of joined our, our group for the time being. Thank you for having me in the group. And thank you for dinner. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. Um, you look at his. He's gonna just holding a fork and knife, kind of <laughs> awkwardly. He did like he just like looks at Stasi's parents and just gives it gives a smile, but his teeth are just like kind of starting to get pointy, and his gums are like really black and kind of gross looking. <laughs> oh, the um, guns. <clears throat> your mother reaches over to you and says please say you're staying home for a while um <clears throat> so while we're gonna look at Oslo and um, I will finish this out with you, but I I think I need a break when this is over. I need some time. Mm-hmm. Of course. Um, I, well, we are here in Magnamar, and you are welcome to stay with your parents. I'm sure the rest of us can find lodging elsewhere. Um, but when if you promise not to steal anything, you can stay here. Fine. Oh, oh that is a bold move. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna room him with Dagulas. Oh, come on! <laughs> That's a bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> Don't room me with the deadbeat. <laughs> I'm alive, beat. Thank you. My heart is beating, and I'm very much alive. I go over and put my hand on your chest. Okay. Oh. Do I feel a beating heart? Sure. <laughs> but, but do I actually know? You, you just see uh, Douglas's hand is in his shirt. In his shirt. He's, going like, bah, bah, bah. he's just sitting there like boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you think you feel a beating heart for sure. All right. So, yes, Mother, once we are finished, I will be staying in Magnum Mall. It'll be good to have you home and safe. We're sorry for what has happened to you. I, I don't want to dwell on it. I just want to finish this so I can just rest and forget about all of it. If we and... had... Possibly burn a building down. It's on my list. If we had seen any of the signs, I assure you we would have called it off immediately. Uh, That's why I asked how he was when he was here. Because I'm going to assume it happened. Everything that happened happened after he met with you, so at least you were both safe. Hey, Oslo. Yes. I I zoned out like halfway through for a little bit. Did she tell her parents about the B-A-B-Y? <laughs> um, that also, is I'm not... going to stab him. Uh, you can't hear sure. me. I'm whispering. Uh, She's sitting there like next something to him. terrible at. <laughs> yeah. No, but seriously, I did go up to get water and stuff. No. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. That I am. They are not learning that information. Yeah. <clears throat> not bringing that up. That's nope, not for just... me to say. Oh, well, I, I mean, was just wondering. Technically, you did bring it up. <laughs> oh yeah. And right after that. you said, "I don't want to bring yeah. it up," and then you implied that there was. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, when she I'm said, assuming when she you said... didn't actually ask. No, that I. I in character. Oslo, yes, uh, but when I she said it. when when she said uh, 
one casualty. I was thinking of that, and then I remember. Oh, it's going Drummond. I remember, yeah, uh-huh. I remember Drummond, and then I'm like, oh shit. Roll for stealth. Oh fuck me. <laughs> Oh, I gotta, I'm totally oh, just going to start chain casting Bungle on this guy. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm minus 20 to every skill check he tries to make for here on out for the rest of the campaign. I, you don't need to do that. What? I rolled a three. What? It's a seven altogether. It's a, it's a cantrip, but, you know, cantrips, you know, there's not really a limit to how much you can cast them. So I know, cantrips cast are over so... And over and over and over again. Oh, sorry, you tried to pick something up? Oh, bungle, um, bungle, 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 bungle. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was going on? Where is the restroom? <laughs> oh, he's back in voice, that means he tried to steal something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, shit, I'm in trouble. Ah. Uh. Um, it's nothing that has to be worried about anymore. That is true. How much of that did you hear? Um, we know how to spell very well, darling. Yes, thank you, Wern. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wern slinks down in his chair mm. and turns beet red. Yes. Look, mother, father, we were engaged. So, yes, it happened. And... It's not a problem anymore, so... Mom, Dad, I'm old enough to fuck if I want. How old is that? You're... Elves, darling, we live for a long time. Your father says... I'm assuming we do not want to know the details of this. Uh, no. No, you don't. Very well, we can leave that be. Just happy you're safe. Now. Yes, Uh, well. Um, well... While you all are in Magnamore, we can lend our house to you and um, make yourselves at home. And if you need anything... Why don't get your feet off the table? He said make yourself at home. Oh, come on! Get your feet off the table. That was comfy. If you need anything, put my shoes back on. Let too. us know, but please, please be safe. We will. We're just gonna finish this up, and then I am going to be home for a bit. Um. <clears throat> so she's gonna look at Oslo and Wern and say, "So where do we need to go?" So, to, according to the letter... You've, you've been rightfully withholding information from me, which I appreciate, as I was not in the correct state to handle said information at the time. Yeah. If you want to see the letter, it's right here. But according to it, we need to go to his town home in Magnamar. Apparently, he underwent some kind of ritual, and they were saying that if you forget things afterwards, that you can go there. To remember. Okay. I mean, there's no time like the present. I guess. It's late, right? Um, it's right. like late there's at no night home. now. There's no place like home. I mean, we just ate dinner. Do you want to rest first and maybe go in the morning? I mean, that's fine. We can go in the morning. Um, question for you, DM. Stasi's got keys. Mm-hmm. Though we think they would work on the manor. Got you. Gonna have to try. I guess you'll have to go try all of them one by one. (laughs) Yeah. Don't ask questions you wouldn't know the answers. If they don't work, I got your back. I don't ask everything. I got these awesome chimes. Better watch out. He might drop those. 
Yes. Um, all I right. Well, let's watch get some sleep and then we can get up in the morning. Work for him. I, I took these last time we played this too, and they didn't work once. Okay. That was for oh. Wrath of the Righteous too. Was that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same item, and they never work because okay. they never rolled high enough. Right. So, uh, thank you, mother, father. Appreciate the hospitality. Uh, yes. It's Do you have any other questions for me? I think it's best that we don't. We will get the guest rooms set up for your companions for tonight. Um. Good luck with whatever you need to do tonight. Uh, I'd like yeah. to call a quick party meeting real real fast, too. That's important. Huddle up. Huddle up. Come on. Yes. Get in. Act mm -hmm. like you love each other. There you go. Mm. I got some, uh, some money for us to split here. But before oh. I do that, I need to know. And he looks at the coolest. I mean, he just joined, right? Like, I mean, he wasn't really there till the very end. Stasi was not paying attention at the fight, so she wouldn't know that Douglas was a major player in it. He didn't really do all that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He cast it. He blinded him. Wow. He, he didn't do much. Uh, I, look, I think it'd be <laughs> fair if we gave him, like, a gold. I think it would be fair if you hand over all the money for the rest of the party and you get to live. <laughs> all right, here's your gold. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yes, Brian. how, how much are you passing in. out, Warren? Yeah, we'll five gold. Uh, so we got what? One, two, three. We got five party members now. Uh, uh, you got for you. four party members right now. Oh, it is only four. That's right. One of them. Yes. Got, one of them kicked the yeah, bucket. Who knows when? Uh, that when is a thing. New one's gonna show up. Okay. Uh, 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 so it's in. yes. About loot, I believe there was a ring of protection. Is that gonna be used by anybody? Or are you holding? I it have back one on. Gotcha. Oh, there <laughs> is one in the party loot. I'm not wearing any rings, but I mean, again, I know that you. Uh, Warren likes to mm. hold on to trinkets and such, so. Mm -hmm. if, uh, mm, yeah, I well, believe you know, that was successfully pickpocketed that one, so I yeah. wouldn't know about it. It's just up to you if you would like to donate it to a party member who could put it to use. Mm -hmm. I'll try. Out of character, I have no problem giving you the rank. Yeah, no, of course. In of course. character, no, I, really, I need to think totally of fine. a good way to do it. <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah, of course. And if, um, and, and, and if you can't do it, then it's fine. Like, yeah, I, again, I'll I try and find out. There wouldn't be well, any reason for me to be upset over a loot piece item that I don't know yeah, is real. Know about. Um, yeah. I do also have Aldrin's clothes. <laughs> oh, shit. Please keep those, one. You okay. might need those to sneak into the house. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Uh, so everybody gets 14.75 gold. So is that a four and 75 silver? Or is it 100 silver to a gold? No, it's no, ten it's silver, ten. two gold. Oh, so it's ten. It's fourteen gold, seven silver, five copper. Right? No. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Somebody who's better at math than me do that. How much gold is? It's how much gold in total is it? Fifty nine gold. Fifty nine gold. Split four ways is fourteen point seven five. I mean, I'll just take one less gold if you want. Oh, wait, that wouldn't work. It's one more gold. No, it's... Everybody gets... Uh, everybody gets everybody 14 gets... gold and 5 silver. Everybody gets 14 gold, and then I get the extra gold that was mine for joining the fight late. <laughs> everybody gets 14 gold, 5 oh, silver. Absolutely. Um, absolutely okay with that. Yeah, that's fine, too. Yeah, I'm fine. That's fine. The fact that I'm getting any money at all is a good thing. Uh, well, you're about to get more. Um, and then everybody gets two platinum. Oh, was it ten platinum to a gold or ten gold to a platinum as well? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, everything is ten. Everybody gets another two platinum and, and five gold. So two plat, five gold. Two plat, four, five four, gold. Two total. And then 14 and five. So everybody gets 15 gold, two platinum. Okay. Cool. Okay. Close them out. Cool. There, I even split it like actually an <clears throat> So proud of you, Warren. Well, thank uh, you. I appreciate you letting me be a part of this. But I am holding on to this cameo portrait of Stasi. Oh. Oh. Uh, why? That seems <laughs> weird. I don't know. Don't it's just know it's in the party this. loop, so. I think That's maybe perhaps it would be best all. that that goes back to. Uh, you could Stasi herself. Well, I figure I could sell it for about 50 gold. Stasi, you don't mind if your likeness is sold out and just in the world, right? <laughs> Only for 50 gold? Yeah, <laughs> it's actually less than Aldrin's old clothes. <laughs> Damn. You're gonna give me that. Alright, he gives the cameo of Stasi to to Stasi. Uh, it's a cameo portrait of Stasi. I also have uh, a whole bunch of keys. You were talking about keys before? Yes. Yeah, here. Here's a small key ring. And here's Aldern's key ring. I might have looted the body. All right, well, let us get some rest. We have a clear indication of a direction to go in the morning. We have potential keys to this manor. Um, uh, I'll turn to the to the parents, Stasi's parents. I go, are there any actual living members of the Foxglove member, uh, Foxglove family? Like. Uh, like, we're not just going to be barging into his occupied home, are we? We are not familiar with their lineage, really. So I... Gotcha. Well... Uh, from the sounds of it, uh, from talking to him, uh... Uh, no, I do not believe so. Sure. Okay. Oh, all right. That seems like fun. Oh. All right, well, Stasi's going to down her wine and be like, thank you for dinner. I'm going to go to my room. And she's she's gonna go upstairs to her room. Okay. Um, uh, your parents um, show everyone else to the guest rooms. When you are all uh, yeah, I'm pretty tired. Able to get a full night's sleep. Uh. Next day, they serve you breakfast, and then you guys are able to head to Fox Love Manor. All right. So, Fox Glove Manor is in, or Fox Love Townhouse, sorry, not the manor. The townhouse is located Right around here. Oh, goody. We're neighbors, practically. So, as you get to the uh, townhouse, 
Everyone roll a perception check. Here I am like, oh yeah, I'll make a perception check. 24. Uh, 24. 24. I was going to ask, is yours a 2 or a 4? It's, it's 24. I'm sorry, guys, I ruined it. 27. You oh. mother! How dare you! You mother! Please. You mother fudger. Sorry, I rolled a. T I roll. It's actually a twenty-four. I rolled. Uh, I'll take that. You rolled the twenty-four. I can choose to purposely take a penalty on my skill checks, right? Woo! Thank you. I mean, yeah. I choose to only I'm hear that as much as you, you did. Stop you from being like I roll worse than I actually. Right. <laughs> I rolled my dice a second time, and I'm going to be one hundred percent honest with you guys. It is a twenty-four this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first one was just a mulligan. Do over. Yeah, mm. I I re-rolled, and it's a twenty-four. I, 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 you might be thinking I'm being facetious. I am not. I swear. No, I, I, I honestly I really do. <laughs> and it was at 24. Very nice. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, I, so I can tell when you're thing. lying. You, you've played a lot of Among Us. I would have you. That's what I would have you believe. Uh -huh. I've uh -huh. altered my ways. I'm better now. I've evolved. The thing so, is, he's been lying his entire life, so we all just assume this is his norm. That's true. Um, or, that's true, or is it? So you guys <laughs> arrive at the townhouse. It is... It is gated. And uh, with your... You know what? Um, Nick... Have your character roll a stealth check. Wait, next on us? What a dick. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm an equal opportunity dick, all right? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I do it out of love. Right, so... Oh, I like the blood dice. Um, That is a natural 19. Plus one, so I'm at the twenty. Okay, uh, so you guys are all able to see um this guy snooping around. Yeah. Would you like to describe what your character looks like? Uh, yeah. So what you see, or who you see, is a. Hold on. I have a lot. Are we getting a picture? Uh, is it just notes? I think a whole no, description. No. You it's see a, 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 a roughly six <laughs> what? foot. He's going to pull out a picture uh, of you. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> uh, you see a six foot uh, fairly Slender's not the right, like, athletic. Uh, heavily armored. Uh, pasty ass dude. Hold on, I gotta write pasty ass dude. Mm -hmm. Now, is his ass pasty, or is all of him pasty? Or is all of him he's an ass? Pasty. Yeah. And that's no, pasty. no, he's very, he's very pale. Okay. I like him already. Yeah. Now let's eat that one. <laughs> Try. So, what do we think is going on over here with this guy? Oh, man, I don't even know that's, anymore. It's just always something, isn't it? I feel like we're just a group that's picking up stray cats. Oh, all along with every walk we go down, every alley we go down. Oh, um, can I look to see if there's any sort of activity in the house, in the manor itself? Or does it look uh, like abandoned? I mean, did you go through the gate? Or are you looking from, like, the sidewalk? 
I guess I'm just looking at the house. Like if I see this guy sneaking around in the inside the perimeter of the house. Oh yeah, so is he in on our side or the gates inside the gate? He's inside the gate, but outside yeah. the house. So right. yeah, I'd like to take a look Open at the, the house to see if it's so we're going to counter sneak. Mm -hmm. I want to open the gate. All right, open the gate. Uh, you do not see any activity inside the house. Oh. Stasi's going to walk into the gate. Okay. And where is this person standing? Uh, okay, so... Nick, you and I haven't really uh, had a chance to uh, discuss this, um, uh -huh. but you are um, searching for signs of the Brothers of Seven, and you heard rumor that the Foxgloves had uh relations with them so you are investigating the townhouse oh. to see if you could find any information <clears throat> okay uh where would you like to be sneaking around at currently is this is the main gate we're enter oh no that's the house we're the in gate, which one of these the gates gate this is one here yeah okay let me drag this over to the big monitor so I can actually see because I'm blind as I fuck. haven't grabbed like a character model yet so I don't have anything for you to really place yourself so just ping where you're going to be and this is the this little map here is where we're at yeah so this is the gate that they are entering and this is the front door of the townhouse and then it looks like there's like a little side door and then there's these little slits that are like windows. Uh, so if they're here, mm -hmm. right, and they saw me, mm -hmm. then I would say I'm probably like somewhere like over here, maybe okay. like trying to find like an open window or something, maybe. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, if there's nobody to say hello and answer the door, how am I supposed to go inside? I have to take the long way around. Can't go through the front door. Front door's for plebeians. Does he yeah, look like exactly. he knows what he's doing? Is he used to doing a B&A, &A, as we call it? Would your character I mean, be used to breaking and entering? <laughs> Uh, not normally. Okay. Uh, well, de depending on the circumstance, how about that? Does he look like he knows what he's doing? Like, should Wern make fun Do of you him have for looking? Points in it. <laughs> uh, you what, have what do you have in disabled device? I have nothing. Okay. So if you were to like break in, no. you wouldn't look like you know what you're doing. No, probably not, because I don't break in. Okay. I just need I to know how I'm know. how my character makes fun of you. <laughs> I should get smoted. <laughs> Do I have any? Um, Do I know how to break in either? <laughs> you're more oh, like oh. the rob at I'm... knife point kind of guy. This is why oh, your girlfriend's as I know a little darling. bit. Yeah, I was always the enforcer. I was the guy that beats people mm -hmm. up. That's why you like Knox. It is why. Well, that's one of the reasons. Um, should should we say something? Should we just let him? Yeah, Stasi's walking it? right up to him. Excuse you. What do you think you're doing? All right, or that, and I'm gonna run to catch up cool. to Stasi. And he will turn around and greeting you with uh, piercing green eyes. Um, he looks at you and goes, well, I'm investigating. What are you doing? 
Um, uh, what are you investigating? Uh, well, I mean, you know, the, the seven brothers. Do you just go around spewing information everywhere to strangers? Is this your first time, darling? Generally, if people are asking me what I'm doing, I'll tell them. No, oh, you're the honest type. No reason not to be. Right, well, this is my fiancé's house, so I'd like to know what you're doing. Are you engaged to a foxglove? Oh, you got it? Yeah, I, I was looking for his. Oh, right. What's it matter to you? Because they're who I'm looking for. Okay, why are you looking for them, darling? You said the Seven Brothers. What do you need with them for? Well, uh, they apparently have affiliations with the Seven Brothers. And I was hoping to get some information. But it seems like nobody's home. No, he's not home. Any idea where I can find them? Why do you need the information? Because it's my job. What's your job? Well, see, now that's a little bit different. I'm not really sure how to explain that to you. Right. Persuasion check? Uh, no, well, hold on. He's like, <laughs> I am... Uh... Diplomacy, sorry, diplomacy. Well, he no, he's he's willing to give you the information. He's just trying to like figure out how to phrase it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because he doesn't normally have people questioning him about shit. People normally like, uh, so he's like, I am the like a like a hammer of goodness. You get what I'm getting at. Are you part of some sort of cleric order? And he'll flash his holy symbol at Oslo and be like, I am indeed. Do I recognize his uh, holy symbol? I keep switching. Roll a uh, religion check. Seven. Nah. Oh. He didn't study much religion. Mm. When do you want to come over here? Uh, yeah, I'm, I I'm right here. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a religious symbol of some sort, but... <sighs> Alright, I mean... Do you have any qualms if we're to search for uh, the same sort of information? No, I always am looking for help not many people uh when they find out that you're uh what's the word goody two shoes most people mm -hmm. aren't apt to stick around too long right well we're not we're not really uh we're more of an independent investigation group if you will so you don't really have to worry about us answering to anyone. Um, well, if y'all know a way in, I'm, I'm more than appreciative to... Yeah, did did uh, did those... Did that set of keys work on the, the gate door? Or the outside gate? The gate was... Is that how was, we got, got in? The gate was unlocked. It's like... Um, oh. Yeah, I don't know. It's unlocked. Oh, there you go. Because I say so. Whoa, hey, keyboard, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? That's some beautiful art. Thank you. <laughs> have, have you been watching the stream? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I've just been watching the board. Yeah, I've yeah, been watching so... the board, <laughs> seeing them move. Every time somebody talks, I'm moving their character. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's hard to keep up, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> I believe in you. Is I'm this working. Douglas? I wonder yeah. which one I am. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the one with the halo? That's, that's uh, him. That's Nick's character. Crowley. Also, also oh. I... Because he said he had a holy as symbol. When y'all were... As you were approaching him, you felt the aura of 
uh, lawful goodness it's get particularly lot. strong as you approach. I can okay. see your halo. Uh, you know my yeah, saving I grace. A, I have a thing called yeah. aura, which just <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I uh, emanate lawful good, goody boyness. I have a feeling we can trust this individual. <laughs> I have a well, feeling that this is the one we if, are looking for. If you <laughs> say so, I trust your judgment, Oslo. So, gut feeling more than anything, really. Okay. And you know what they say, enemy of our enemy is ah! our friend, right? Seems like our, uh, uh, so, uh, kind sir, it seems like our objectives are aligned. Do you care to work together with this investigation? Absolutely. Uh, perhaps some better introductions are necessary. My name is Mr. Crowley. Who might you be? Well, Mr. Crowley, I'm known as Oslo. Glad These are my Oslo. companions. Uh, Ozzy, Warren, Douglas, uh, and uh, this fine furry friend is Wasabi. I was going to say Wasabi stayed at home. Never mind. <laughs> it's probably easier that way. Mm. <laughs> As he's drawing him. Wasabi, stay. He's sleeping in my bed right now. It's quite comfortable. Mm. <laughs> he's enjoying, enjoying a little luxury. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to wake him up, but he refused to get out of bed. <laughs> he was comfortable, and I wasn't going to bother him. He wanted the belly scratches, and I had to oblige. Wasabi, it's time to get up. <laughs> <laughs> he was mad sad yeah he's okay. depressed let him stay in bed yeah <laughs> he's espresso espresso right now all right he, ah, lost ah. His, he lost his best friend since he was a young cubby cub right so Stasi's gonna take the keys Alden's key ring and start trying the door them on the door yeah um uh... That's actually not Warren. Oh? No. I thought it was the one that's that... all pointing at music. That's Stasi. That was... Well, no, Stasi's this one oh. that, that's like super yeah. uh, oh, sassy. Yeah. Um, this one? This one was Oslo because when you came in, you were also like, do you like asking for proof? I'm this one oh, over okay. here. <laughs> Got uh, so just so you guys know in, in case anybody didn't know this one over here is the coolest boards, <laughs> boards have been nailed to the windows on the ground floor of this oh. house um, oh, that's a good well, sign that it's abandoned well, at least uh the yes oh okay uh yeah that presents a problem so what do you expect to cut of anything you find in here? Okay. Stasi right. wanna try those uh those key rings. Yep, I want to try and unlock the door, see if one of these keys works. You are able to unlock the door. Oh. Click, click, All click right. Started. Gentlemen. Click click. click. Oh. Very nice. Oh, oh, can can I make a suggestion for Oslo's new character? For it's Oslo's a, new character? It's Wizard Zero Four Tom Cartos and Daryl J. He's wearing a green cloak and has like blue uh -oh. magic around him. Are you looking through the assets? Yeah. I was looking through the assets. There's some animated ones that are pretty fun. Yeah, right? Uh, I was <laughs> wrong about where the front of the house was. Or um, There's also so you're kind of we, the problem. We went that... in the back door, door. Yeah. There's also the problem that we've grown. We're all kind of big and don't fit in the rooms very well. Ah. Yeah, we've all grown <laughs> and only. No, we're fine. Control all of our we've characters. All so... disappeared. 
you guys. It's only Stasi and Oslo now. Oh, never mind. Sorry. I was like, why is there uh, just like a table in, and out. in the front room? You look alright to us, like you haven't been skipping or anything. That I noticed. No. It's Mel that's skipping for oh. me. Oh, no. Oops. Something She's sitting right next to me. Dan's oh, got Dan's about seven seconds on his camera. Yep, he's back. What did I do? You're Hello? Nice crap. Hello, darling. Are we here? Yes, oh, woman, you're here. Okay, good. Why did they cut out for you or something? We're cutting out for them. No, he froze on us. Yeah, yeah, you both yeah. did. He was blurry. It was really funny. Dan was in the middle of saying how Mel didn't freeze up, and then he immediately froze up. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that sounds about right. Thanks well, for moving us all in there, Dan. I got you. Uh, Hold on, I need to get Mr. Crowley's pants, though. There we go. Um, yeah. I will. It's say, a kilt with leather pants. I will say no, it no, is no. ten thirty-five, so we are going to wrap mm. it up here, and I will surprise you what what is in this house next time <gasps> oh my goodness dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. i'm also dun, going dun, dun. to give you guys all new player models using the new assets mm -hmm. that pathfinder has i just, just gave everyone it's new this stick models. figures right i'm yeah. actually quite fond of them i think <laughs> stasi's came out Perfect. Actually, hold on, hold on. I have. Yes, it did. Actually, I'm very <laughs> impressed. I have. It looks perfectly sassy. Stasi's. Here's the bard one. Oh, cheap. Oh my gosh. There you go. Oh, oh, she looks so cute. Look at her. Yeah, but 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 sassy. <laughs> oh, here's I know, the I know. spider one. Ooh. This one does not fit you at all. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. like oh, is that, that's supposed to be what mine. Is that one for oh, here we go. Hold on, hold on. We'll do this one instead. You want to make me vampire too? <laughs> Who's that supposed to be? That's you. That's, <laughs> you. that's, that's right. okay. Let's see. We got uh, Claridge for our new guy. I've been trying to we... put them on the map, but it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, we, we can't place them, but she... Um, What should I use oh, the... for... The animated our... dragons are really cool. Where are you finding these? Where are they? Go to the... Art oh, library? Yeah, they are. Look at that. Yeah. And then the character? Oh, the red dragon's uh... really sick, too. I, love, I really like the black dragon. Yeah, black dragon. I don't know. I feel like you have to look at it in like DM mode in order to. No, no you, you, can, you can look at them. Just go to the art yeah. tab on your right side and then look exactly. under free assets. Yep. Oh, free uh, assets. Here we go. Free, free assets. Free what? assets. Free, free what do assets. I use for Oh, look at Oslo. all these built in There's a chef. Sorry, that was me. Uh, slow. I just, I Ooh, the animated ogre is really awesome. An ogre dog here. Yeah, he's pretty sick. All wizard. Cool. I tell you though, it is a huge departure from their original. Like lineup of free assets, they are so so good. All right, guys. Cue the single lady song. <laughs> hey, Jade, you actually made it. I was wondering where the heck you were. I know oh, you're wow. I made it. Finally working. I see. Just I see. Wow. Ooh. All right, guys. So we will be back if everyone is available yeah. in two weeks' time on April 18th. 
Oh man, that's damn crazy. right I'll be available. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we will see what in the heck is in this townhouse. Dun dun dun. Dun, 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 dun. Um, We are sorry that we did not have um, Eberron yesterday. It was raining and I was too tired to actually stream, so I canceled it. I completely forgot to even check about that. Right. Yeah. Uh, one of our members w had a flight home, so they weren't going to be able to make it. And it was downpouring oh, here. Yeah. It was awful yesterday. And I was just like, you know what? Yeah. I'm way too tired. I learned how to make Stasi even more sassy. Oh. And so, yeah. Um, we will be back with um, Eberron or Strahd. We'll see what we do um, on the 17th. Two weeks, 17th, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time for that. And then Thursday, the 18th, 7.30 or 8, you know, whenever we get our asses moving uh, for Rise of the Room Lords. We will not be back with um, our other Thursday group until the 25th, which is when we are going to start... Avatar The Last Airbender TTRPG. Let's go! And um, Kimmy wormed her way into that group, so yeah. I just... would never. She wormed her way in. She wormed her way in. <laughs> you lucky. Uh, I would have wormed her she, way in. She you literally wormed her way in. She forced herself <laughs> in like Wern forced his tongue into her mouth. <laughs> I would have joined if I'd known about this. What? Uh, hey, Rick and Bobby. Kimmy was just bothering me about being in more games, oh. so... Oh my gosh, I, I was, was bothering like, you. Yes, you are like, <laughs> I want to be in more games. I'm not playing enough, and so I was like, I'll see if I can get you in on my other Thursday group since you're, like, <sighs> so bored on those other Thursdays, and so... I mean, I have the day off for a reason, so you might as well put me to use. That's all I'm saying. So, yes. <laughs> Uh, we will see you back on this channel in two weeks' time. Nothing for next week. Unless we decide to, like, do something else on Thursday, like... What? I don't know, play a game or something. I don't know, I'm going to visit Kimmy Monster next Thursday. Hunter! Yay, come play with me! Ooh, You're gonna Hunter. go visit Kimmy next Thursday, and then Kimmy's gonna come visit me on Friday. <laughs> well, I'm just well yeah, that's how he's getting home. That counts, yeah. right? Just yeah. going anywhere in the state of Pennsylvania counts. Where are you yep. going? Yeah. That's, that's, no, I'm going, to, yeah. I'm going to Lancaster. Oh, okay, you're going right past me. Just come stop by. Well, there you'd like go. to publicly state your address right now in front of everybody on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Squeebs! Oh, because there was it. a restraining order, so... <laughs> Squeebs, I've got it. I'll text you. He's got it. Yeah. Yeah, right. Cool. All right, guys. Else? Nope. We will see you in two weeks' time. Everyone have a great week and an amazing weekend. And we'll see you in two Yay. weeks. And we love you. Yay! Yay. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 So anyways, I was taking off my pants.